All right, so we're at the Montana de Oro 50K. In about five minutes, and uh, the race start is at the beginning of the parking lot there. So the race is going to start in five minutes, so I need to go get my stuff. We're walking over there, so hopefully I'll get my bib pretty soon. <laughs> We're almost four miles in. Yeah. Not too bad, about two more miles of a uh, uphill. Then we'll go downhill pretty good. Right, so we're almost to the top. And it looks like it's out and back, so we're gonna have to come screaming down here. The terrain's a little rocky. Kinda wish I had All a right, helmet. To the uh, first little summit here. Quarter miles in on the downhill section. It's actually not as bad as Katie and, Katie and I thought it was going to be. It forked off at one point. It's not too technical. It's a little tricky, but pretty good. Uh, she's right behind me back there. So uh, we're making a pretty good pace. I hate to say that and then have it kind of blow up later, but uh, pretty good run today. The, uh, First aid station. How you feel, Katie? Good. Good. Hey, where, where'd you get those hot moving sleeves? <laughs> <laughs> at the running floor. <laughs> all, I ordered them online. <laughs> all right, we're on a nice little climb. Got Katie just ahead of us. You all the way. Man, I'm pretty far up. Oh. Oh, mountain bikes are coming. Better get out of the way. All right, nice little uh, view of the ocean there on the course. Just took a little break here to eat some food. Almost done with the uh, second loop. Then we'll uh, head back to the start area. The whole thing one more time. The first loop, then the uh, second one. So. Making decent time. I'm kind of really going too fast today because I have the 100 in uh, two weeks. So just trying to really enjoy my time out here and not knock it out too hard. But you know, I hate to run hard today and not have anything left in two weeks for the for the 100. So just trying to remind myself to take it easy and really enjoy the course today. It's a really beautiful course so far. All right, I think I have about a mile uphill left where I am and it uh, should go downhill for I think about a mile then I'll be done with this loop. Alright so I thought that was the top I looked and it actually keeps going over there so man a little ways to go. Alright we're on the uh, second half of the course so hit the first loop again second one more time. I got a nice little jog ahead of me. Pretty good uphill. I'll buy a pretty good downhill on this one. Uh, where my GPS, the course is running a little bit long. When I hit the halfway point I was at about 16 and 3 quarter miles instead of 15 and a half. So I'm not going to complain about that though. Just a few extra miles for my dollar. Yeah, that's assuming the GPS is correct also, because they tend to be off a little bit, but all right, well, I'm going to try to catch Katie. She's a little ahead of me. 
and uh, I don't know, I think at this point, I probably won't catch her unless she dramatically slows down. She's running pretty good, but all right, I'll be back. All right, so almost to the top, right to the top of that hill right there. It's pretty far, but after that, it's all pretty much downhill for the rest of this loop. And just one loop left to go. I'm a little, a little tired. Uh, just want to get a little bit more food at the aid station. They had a cantaloupe out there, and man, it tasted really good. The last stop I made, so I'm sure it'll taste even better. All right, back to the top. Ooh, last visit here. Time to go all the way back down and uh, do the uh, second loop for a second time. That was a little bit longer. Uh, still hard, it's on right. It's just kinda, the first three miles is kind of rolling hills and it goes up a little bit. Then there's a lot of downhill, but uh, I was past some lady who didn't look like she was having a very good time. And uh, she said she's probably gonna drop out. So I'm gonna try to catch up to her, maybe get her to finish, because I you know how crappy it would feel not to, uh, you know, finish what we start, so I'm not really blazing any super fast pace today, and she just looks like she just needs to, to finish, so maybe if I catch up to her, she's not too far ahead of me, I'll just run with her and try to finish out with her. I'm not really feeling too hot also, so, uh, I you know, just check my water, I have plenty of water, so, uh, probably drink a little bit more on this way, and fill up at the aid station, get some food, my stomach's kind of feeling like I need some more solid food in it, and not just the, the chews and stuff I've been eating on the trail here, so, uh, probably get some fruit or something like that, and, you know, kind of refuel a little bit more, start to feel a little... A little hungry, but not too bad. I think I've actually been on top of uh, everything a little bit more than usual today. So I think I'm slowly, I've only been doing this a little bit over, over a year now, I think like 13 months. So, uh, actually not even that, about just over a year. Uh, but, uh, you know, still learning every step of the way, literally. But uh, I'm going to try to catch up to that lady and see what her deal is. If she's really going to drop out, hopefully she doesn't. That would just totally suck to know that someone wasn't able to finish their goal. So hopefully I could catch up to her and then just kind of run with her. I think it will help me out a lot too because I just kind of need to be around somebody right now. Kind of in that spot where people are either way ahead of you or way behind you. Okay, just left the uh, aid station on the last loop here. Got a little bit of food. I'd like to get a little bit more, but I'm kind of in a hurry too, so just kind of it quick. But uh, yeah, caught that one lady. She seems to be doing okay now. She had a friend waiting for her, turned the last loop with her. So uh, I ran in the end of that loop and just kind of talked a little bit. So she's definitely going to finish with her friend, which is good. And I'm going to try to. Hopefully this last loop in under two hours. Just kind of a little tired. My legs are a little fatigued, but uh, you know, it's kind of gotta get it done. So, all right, I'm at mile uh, 27. So I should have four miles left. But uh, like we were saying earlier, so I think I mentioned it uh, when I got to the halfway point. My watch said 16 point like 75. So. Uh, two times that would put it at a 33 and a half. So um, instead of four miles, it's probably like six and a quarter, six and a half ish, something like that. So uh, you know, just gotta. And I'm just taking a mile at a time. I'm running for a mile, then I'm stopping and getting a little, little something to eat, a little bit of water, and just running the next mile. But I should be coming up on some uh, on the one hill on this loop here 
and uh, I think I'm about to hit it right now. But um, so that's going to slow me down a bit. But then it's pretty rolling downhill from there. So if I'm going to be able to catch up on my time, it'll be on that section. But it's a long section, so I can't really hit it too hard and just keep going. I have to kind of take it kind of easy and just gradually pick up my pace. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to take it a mile at a time and see how that works. All right, I think I'm pretty much through all the rough stuff. Uh, I watch the sand, I'm at about 29 and a half miles, so not much further to go. I think just kind of taking this whole thing a mile at a time and taking a little break to get. I've been stopping when I drink water and I eat instead of trying to do it and run. And I think that's been really helping out, you know. I mean, like I said earlier, I'm still very, very new to doing this stuff, so I'm still learning a lot as I go. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of trial and error. I've had a lot of really great people who run ultras uh, help me out, and, you know, suggest know stuff that, that works for them and some of it hasn't worked for me some of it has you know it's kind of everyone's different and everything you know what works for one person doesn't work for another one and uh that's one of the things you have to always remember you know i even have you know, people are like oh this type of running shoe is the best running shoe it's like well for you you know it's the best shoe for me it might not be same thing for what, what works for me might not work for someone else but uh yeah i feel like i'm getting close to the end here it's kind of nice it's gonna be nice to go get a hamburger or two on the way home and uh just relax maybe get a pizza later on tonight too i'm just feeling I'm not really starving right now i've been pretty good with uh you know eating today i don't have uh you know, a lot of times i usually complain that i'm just starving at the end of these runs and I'm actually feeling pretty good but I know once we get on the road and have time to rest my body's going to start getting uh, pretty hungry I can feel a little bit but nothing that's you know unbearable so but uh, I think I'm pretty much to the rough spot I think there's one hill left here looks like I got about a mile on that and then should be uh, free and clear. Should be able to hopefully run pretty good from there on out. So I think I have about two and a half miles left if I'm doing my math right, according to my, my watch. But a uh, pretty runnable part of the course here. Shouldn't have to stop. I'm not gonna stop and eat anything just because I'm so close to the finish. I'm starting to like finally get a decent pace going on. So, uh, Maris is going to be trying to run it in, finish up so I could get to the car, get home, and get some dinner and relax basically. But it's been a pretty fun run. I'm really enjoying myself out here. I haven't really had too many low points. It's been really good, very enjoyable. All right, coming up to the finish, about a quarter mile. This will make uh, ultra number 15 for me once I cross the finish line. wasn't trying to nail anything too hard, but, uh, you know, did a fairly decent pace the first half, kind of dropped off a little bit the second, and just kind of enjoyed the, the view a little bit more. Um, kind of got held up at my car. I, uh, during the second half, I stopped off and talked to Lori for a little bit, which is kind of a nice little break. Got a Mountain Dew and just kind of, you know, took my time getting back on the trail. And, uh, <clears throat> You know, I just kind of wanted to more enjoy the day than run anything too hard, especially since I have a 100 miler coming up in two weeks. Figure there's no need to, to run this one and really bang it out too hard. You know, might as well save some energy for the 26th and 27th of February. But uh, definitely going to go back. Montana de Oro is a very nice course, really fun course. 
Um, but yeah, so now I'm just kind of gonna gonna rest up a little bit for the next couple weeks. Do some good, probably like some more speed work. Just kind of keep that part going. Nothing on, over 10 miles, I think, um, in general. But uh, gonna try to take it easy a little bit. Maybe do you know some a lot of stretching and make sure my legs are feeling really good right now. Feel way better after this run than uh, I did the Death Valley Marathon. That one just like tore me up and I feel really, really good and just kind of refreshed right now. You know, I think, uh, oh, I just like trail running a lot more. I think I've kind of lost that, you know, umph that uh, a road marathon used to have. Uh, I don't know, it's something that I'm just not really too uh, thrilled about doing anymore at this time. Uh, not that I'm not going to run any more road marathons, but. I'm sure I'll do at least one a year, but it's not something that I really have a passion for doing, you could say. I think, you know, you go out and you do a trail and it's just, there's so much out there to look at and see. And I don't know, it's a little bit more, I think, uh, I don't know, just, it's nice being out there in nature and having the trees and the ocean right there. And it's just a lot more kind of fun and it's a little bit more of a getaway than running through a city with a bunch of people. Uh, you know, not that running a marathon with 20 or 30,000 people isn't fun, but I think running an ultra with 100 people is a lot more fun, especially when you start to see a lot of all the same people at the races, you know, kind of get that little camaraderie. And, you know, there are people that I see about once, once a month now who are uh, regular ultra runners also that also do the Pacific Coast Trail Run events. So it's always nice seeing the race directors out there. Uh, Sarah's always out there and one of the first people I see after I finish and and Michael and they're just really, really cool people. And uh, part of the reason why I do their events is just because they're, they're so nice and they've treated me really well when I've uh, gone out there. And, you know, it's uh, just good times. So uh, two weeks, got the Rocky Road 100. So I'm just going to kick back for uh, the next couple weeks. Not do too much uh, intense running, but uh, you know, still some good workouts and hopefully maybe sub 24 hours for the 100. That's uh, my goal. Hopefully, if I don't hit 24 hours, hopefully it won't be too far over that because I really don't want to be out there running too long. But we'll see in a couple of weeks what happens.